A highly coordinated set of hand signals is used by the pilot and deck crew of a fighter plane to signal to one another that they are ready to take off from a Navy carrier at sea. The pilot gives one last salute to signal that the plane is about to be launched off the deck. There won't be a salute though, as the US Navy's newest prototype combat aircraft, the X-47B, gets ready for its first carrier launch early next year. This is because there won't be a pilot either. As an alternative, the X-47B will emulate the Navy's night launch procedures by blinking its wingtip navigation lights in a robotic salute to humans. Once the catapult officer clicks the launch button, the robotic aircraft will be launched off the front of the ship. This stealthy, tailless autonomous drone is about to go on its much-awaited carrier flight, following years of development and recent land-based tests. Carl Johnson, Vice President and Program Manager at defense contractor Northrop Grumman, which constructs the X-47B, states that it should be in early 2013. In addition to all the other airspace issues, we have to coordinate ship schedules. The United States Navy's UCASD Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program, which intends to develop the technology required to field a combat drone on carriers, produced the X-47B, a prototype drone the size of a strike fighter. It is therefore designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the sea, such as salt water, deck handling, and of course takeoff and landing from an aircraft carrier. It also features foldable wings. The Navy intends to operate operational unmanned combat aircraft on ships by the end of the decade, despite the X-47B being a prototype. The unmanned flying wing aircraft, which features a full-size weapons bay but won't be flying with armaments, is intended to display reconnaissance and strike capabilities. Its design is influenced by Northrop Grumman's B-2 stealth bomber. Furthermore, unlike most drones on the market today, which are often flown remotely by pilots once in the air. The X-47B is built to fly itself. All it needs is the odd mouse click from an operator to give it commands. According to Peter Singer, senior scholar at the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., and author of the book Wired for War, which explores the military's robotics revolution, it's a big deal, but it's an extension of something that was already happening. Direct Fire Although the craft was first unveiled in 2008, it is currently undergoing sea trials, including mobility on the carrier U.S. Harry S. Truman on board the ship. Even though this type of testing might not seem noteworthy, it's one of the most difficult phases in demonstrating that the X-47B, which has a wingspan of 20 meters, 62 feet, and weighs 20,000 kilograms, 44,000 pounds, is suitable for flight. According to Johnson, Navigating a packed flight deck is challenging since the aircraft has to maneuver very near the carrier's edge, occasionally turning so that it looks as though half of the aircraft is hanging off the ship. According to Johnson, it is quite challenging for a pilot to follow instructions from someone on the deck with the precision required. Using an unmanned system to do that is also very difficult. To move the aircraft around the deck, the engineers have created a wireless remote control device. Although the X-47B has already been tested on land under settings designed to replicate carrier deck activities, such as a catapult launch, operating aboard an actual carrier with a busy deck full of people and equipment brings new difficulties. To ensure that its electrical systems do not interfere with the many radars and emitters on a ship, the X-47B, for instance, needs to be tested for electromagnetic interference. Johnson says, you learn a lot when you're at sea, and you're validating your system against the true environment of the carrier, even though we go through a rigorous test program. The Navy will then be prepared for its first at-sea flight if these tests go smoothly. According to Johnson, this will probably be a quick event that begins with a catapult launch and ends with the aircraft landing on solid ground rather than the carrier. The X-47B will also make an arrested landing later that year returning to the aircraft carrier. In 2014, the X-47 will conduct another significant flight test to prove its ability to conduct autonomous aerial refueling. As of right now, the craft can stay in the air for six hours and has a range of about 3,200 kilometers, 2,000 miles. 
However, the Navy wants it to remain in the air longer for more efficient operations. Head-to-head -head. Successful completion of all those tests does not guarantee that the X-47B will be put into service. The stealthy aircraft is still only a prototype. As part of the unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike program, the Navy intends to deploy up to six armed drones on carriers by the end of the decade to produce an operational unmanned combat aircraft. The Navy will organize a competition to create the new drone early in 2019. This implies that Northrop, the current leader, will face competition from other firms, such as Lockheed Martin, which created the elusive RQ-170 drone, notoriety gained by Iran, General Atomics, which produces the well-known Reaper and Predator drones in Boeing, which created the X-45, a one-time rival to Northrop's drone. But even as a prototype, Singer believes that the X-47B's impending launch from an aircraft carrier, the heart of U.S. naval aviation, will be a historic moment for drones. It's among the locations where we haven't yet encountered them. The goal of the X-47B's next flight is to broaden the applications in areas in which drones can be employed, rather than to demonstrate that they can function as is the case presently. Singer claims, the Wright brothers' moment already happened. We are living in a time evocative of the 1920s and 1930s. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.